Well, stage five is a 2.5 mile time trial in the city of Birmingham. An opening loop that is slightly shorter than the finishing circuit. It's a testing technical course and the riders will have done a lot of research here because there's a lot of time can be won and lost. Well, I've had a good look at it myself and there's eight critical corners just packed into that 2.5 miles and I think that actually plays into his hands. I think it's exactly what he wants to happen, Hugh. I think anything longer, straighter, would play into the hands of Bladsen. And here comes Kurt Ola Oberson of Norway on the CSC team and what a time he's recording. 4 minutes 54.81, that's almost 12 seconds quicker than the previous leader, Chris Newton. Looking at Paul Manning, a world team pursuit champion, very, very smooth. Well, Paul, I would say he'd be targeting an event like this, it's perfect for him, probably his best opportunity, but he is going to be a bit tired after his efforts yesterday. Just wondering what the world time trial champion Michael Rogers is going to do around this circuit. I think he would have preferred a longer time trial. I think this is something that really should be his stage. He, for me, is the favourite today. It just depends on how much that work he's done today for Noonan's has taken out of him. Well, there's Manning's time, 4.57.94, second overall at the moment. This is Rogers taking one of the left-handers, and he's catching his minute man here, so a good ride by the Australian. He is riding hard, but he seems to be in quite a big gear. He's not as smooth as I've seen him in the past. But maybe he's suffering a little bit. He's worked very, very hard this week. Very classy rider, so we'll have to see how this pans out. But catching the minute man is perfect. He actually is already getting some slipstream advantage, even from this distance out. And he'll make advantage of that before his final dash for the line. Well, Rogers will be away to Madrid very shortly to contest the World Championships. He sweeps past his minute man there as we now look at the uh, Spanish rider, Sergio Molina, who is third overall at 10 seconds. Well, he'd be a lot happier if this was going uphill. He's a slight rider, much more at home in the mountains, but today he has to do a very solid professional performance if he wants to hang on, if he wants to hang on to that third place overall. So here comes Rogers now into the closing stages, 4.54.8 on the time to be. Rogers, 4.59.20, third at this stage of the time trial. This is Michael Blautzen, seven seconds behind the overall leader, Nick Noyens. Now, Blautzen is a brilliant time trialer. He's the Danish time trial champion, but he specialises in the longer test against the clock. Well, he really has to do everything if he hits his last real chance of the overall classification, but not ideal course for him. He's going to have to do something super special. Chero Molina now into his closing stages of the time trial. Doesn't look particularly smooth to me, in fact, a little bit ragged, and he may find that he's losing time on the others. Well, he doesn't have to do an awesome time trial, but it certainly has to be professional. He's got a small buffer around him if he wants to keep that third place on general classification. He's not thinking about the stage today, he's just thinking about GC, and he knows what he's got to do. Well, somebody who is thinking about the GC is this fella, Nick Noyens. He's been in the lead ever since Castle Douglas. His advantage has been seven seconds over Blaudson. So now he really is going to be put to the test. You know he's been around already today, he's checked out these corners, he knows the best line for the race, a lot of pressure on him, his team has worked for him all week relentlessly, and now is the time that he has to pay them back. So Noyan's just about ready to leave the starting house, he's been full of confidence throughout the whole of this Tour of Britain, third last year in the race overall, and it's looking very much as though he's got a brilliant opportunity of going to Westminster still as the overall leader. Well, we're going to find out in just a few minutes' time, you. Here comes Blaudson into the closing stages, out of the saddle once again, trying to raise his game, looking for more speed. Just wondering what the Dane is going to stop the clock at. He does look good. This is Chero Molina coming up to the line. Now then, is he going to post a time inside five minutes? Well, no, it's 507.22. He's only ninth in the time trial, but that might be enough to keep him in third place overall. Well, he's shaking his head. He's not sure, but he's going to have to wait and see what else happens. That's a crouching style here, then, of Noyens. He's asking everything of himself as he tries to keep the maximum tempo on. He's not very aerodynamic. He's not most at home in this discipline, but he is a very accomplished rider. He's very strong, and if he could have designed a time trial that he had to ride, this would be it. It's technical and it's short. Well, we'll soon know whether Noyens is going to be threatened. This is Blautzen into the closing stages. 
forward on the peak of the saddle. Look at this, he's asking everything of himself. Good cadence here, high pedal revs, and he's looking for the line. Look at the time, 4.55.27, second quickest time. Now, Noyans is really going to have to do something special. Well, he's only got seven seconds to play with. He's going to have to drive all the way to the line if he wants to preserve that. So, 4.55. That means that Noyens has got to be here inside 502 if he wants to retain the yellow jersey. He knows it's going to be close. He's known all the time that Blautzen was going to post something special. Into the closing stages now. The yellow jersey, Nick Noyens of the Quick Step team looking for the line, gritting his teeth, and the crowd are really urging him on. Here he is then trying to find something special as he gets out of the saddle to conclude his title over the line. 4.54.06, so Noyens wins the time trial. He's even quicker than the race-long leader, Arvison. He's 0.75 quicker than the Norwegian, and he's increased his lead over Blautzen. So the celebrations can begin as Noyens wins the Birmingham Midshires time trial in the city of Birmingham. Not a perfect event for him, not where he's normally at home, but just shows what that yellow jersey can do for you. So Nick Noyans retains the yellow fleece and only one stage to go in the city of Westminster. An emphatic display from Noyans saw him win his second stage of the 2005 race. A strong challenge from Michael Blautzen finishing third wasn't enough today. Paul Manning was the top Brit in fourth. Were there any tips from the world champion Michael Rogers? Yeah, I was a bit nervous, but uh, he has a lot of experience. And so he said, yeah, you don't have to be uh, nervous and uh, just go for it. You can do it. For me, you're the strongest and uh, things like that. But also, uh, Johan Musse was uh, telling me to have some faith, so uh, that's just great. He took the first yellow jersey of the race in Castle Douglas and has held on to it all the way to Birmingham to receive yellow from the Lord Mayor of Birmingham, John Hoot. Michael Blightson lost time to Noyans but holds on to second place. Chero Molina retains his third overall.